Good morning Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a reading to see what messages are, you know, showing up for the Pisces Collective. This is a general. Whatever needs to come through will in whatever area of your life is needed. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest as always. You guys know that I... <laughs> enjoy doing these readings as a way to connect to you guys, as a way to hang out with you guys as well. So when we do so many readings, because I'm doing a week-long marathon, sometimes it's not even about the prediction anymore. You know, it's about the conversation, what it stirs inside of us, what, you know, food for thought the readings leave. So let's just be open to whatever wants to come through and enjoy the space and time that we have together. If you guys are already a part of the Pisces Club, thank you so much for being here. If you are one of our, not subscribers, but members, thank you so much. The members are sort of like pretty much the sponsors of the channel. <laughs> if you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click on the join button. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the space. It is the Pisces Club after all, so if you're a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and you resonate with the space, this is the place for you. Alrighty. So, universe, angels, archangels, ascended masters of love and light. What's up? <laughs> First card showing up, ten of pentacles. Okay, Pisces. So if there is by any chance any kind of worry in regards to finances, money, work, you don't need to worry about anything. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, this is the most abundant card in the tarot. This one showed up as a conclusion card in the previous money reading we had. So this is just another confirmation that you're well on your way to maybe a higher income, more abundance, more freedom, perhaps higher levels of stability. So if you have money concerns, you will find a way, okay? You will find a way around what seems like blockages where there where you see walls there's gonna be doors okay they're gonna be able to cross the challenge however we got the chariot so you may not be completely clear on how to move forward at this time you may be thinking about things considering strategizing wondering you may not have all the answers just yet on how you're gonna get to this stability on how you're gonna get to this legacy even stable family stable foundation lots of abundance you're not clear on how you're gonna get there just yet you want to move forward you want to move closer to this reality but right now maybe you're having a little bit of a challenge moving forward some of you could be having a little bit of a challenge with a cancer person or literally a uh, cancer diagnosis. That's what I'm getting. What I'm getting is that if you are, you are going to find a way to pay for all of the medical expenses, okay? Insurance will show up or supporters seem to be around wanting to help. I'm also getting, uh, you know, one of those pages like crowdfunding or stuff like that to pay for the medical um Bills could be helpful for some of you if you're resonating with that message. All right. In the recent past, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Page of Cups. So Pisces, you may have experienced heartache, sadness, disappointment, you know, overall emotional pain in the past at some point. Could have been um, fueled by someone who whose emotional side is a little immature. This doesn't necessarily mean that the person is immature, but that, you know, their emotional openness, vulnerability, communication can be a little immature sometimes. Some of you dealt with either a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio energy and in the past and wound up quite hurt. What I mean in the past, this could be, you know, weeks, months, years, decades. For every single one of you, it's going to be different, so take it as it resonates. But what I love is the Three of Swords in the past, meaning that that heartache is already behind you. 
in your mind space, you've got the Nine of Cups. By the way, guys, for those of you who don't know me or don't remember, I like to read cards upright. Okay, that's a personal preference of mine. Nine of Cups in your mind space. Hmm. <laughs> checks in the mail. Some of you guys might be receiving checks in the mail. Um, some of you are actually quite proud of what you have accomplished and who you have turned out to be. Okay, Many of you had lots of difficulty in the past and now you look at who you are at this time and you're like, wow, I actually did it. I really bounced back. I really got my shit together. <laughs> I really got myself together. I really found a way to not only survive, but thrive. Many of you are feeling quite proud, I have to say. Some of you are having something to do with fashion, design. Maybe you are starting to perhaps design your own dresses, clothes. Maybe you're experimenting with it, just like a hobby or something. You're gonna find that you're quite good at it. Take it if it resonates. And that could be a gateway to more abundance. Knight of Wands in the near future. Okay, so you could be in the near future connecting to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person seems to be a little bit of a troublemaker, but in a good way. Like, they're, they're fun people to have in your life. So you might be connecting to someone who's quite spicy, <laughs> quite adventurous, fun, you know, interesting, funny. It seems like someone here is coming into your life to spice it up. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Eight of Cups in what the universe wants you to know. Let's get a clarifier for this one. Knight of Swords. Okay, so Pisces. At times in your life, you have this tendency <laughs> to become a little bit obsessive, okay? That does not happen in all areas of your life and it does not happen all the time. But when you want something and you're sure that that's what you want, you may become relentless, okay? You may get this one-track mind, I'm gonna get it, no one can stop me. <laughs> I have no fear, I have no resistance, I'm going in for the kill. And while that is very useful in many ways, when you want to manifest with another person, something that has to do with another person, when you want to manifest love, when you want to manifest Things that involve other people, this is actually not the best energy because it can be a bit too much. It can be a little aggressive, the Knight of Swords, okay? So what the universe is telling you here is that you can get a whole lot more bees with honey. <laughs> I don't know if that's how the saying goes, but like with a sweet approach, with a gentle approach, with a soft approach, you can manifest a whole lot. Like this energy of I'm gonna make it happen is just not the right energy for every area of your life as far as manifestation goes. That's what I'm trying to say. And it seems like the universe wants to teach you, hey, through your feminine, through your feminine energy, you could be actually getting a whole lot more than from this, you know, very intense approach. In work, in business, in things that involve you and you only, this is a, wonder, a wonderful energy to have. If you have this energy like in your workouts, <laughs> in your exercise goals, oh my god, you're unstoppable. If you have this energy in your personal projects, in your career, business, bang on, like success. But if you have this in regards to love, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not right. It's like not appropriate or compatible so you may be walking away from that you may be walking away from the idea that there's only one way to manifest you may be walking away from the idea that 
you have to have this intense attitude in order for things to happen. You're going to start manifesting a whole lot more by resting, taking care of yourself, taking things easy, being detached and loving, lighthearted and fun. Now, some of you guys are in need to let go of a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be someone who somehow finds a way to disempower you. If that is resonating with you, the universe is advising you to walk away. This person, this person could have a black dog. Random. <laughs> Your energy is being represented by the three of pentacles. So this is lovely Pisces. This means that you are open to receive support from others, to give your support to others. It seems like you're open for teamwork, collaborations of all sorts, and all of the gains that can come from that. This could be on a professional level, financial level, but this could also be, you know, with your friends. It's like you are willing to be there for the people that you love, and you are willing to take them on their offer of being there for you. You're not alone, Pisces. In your environment, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. By the way, guys, this is the pinup girl tarot, if you haven't <laughs> deciphered yet, deciphered that yet. Wheel of Fortune in your environment. So things are happening in a way that they're supposed to happen. There is a divine plan, there's a strategy, there is a meaning behind things at this time. Especially behind how people around you are showing up in your life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say in regards to that card. The Fool. Hopes and Fears. There's a part of you, Pisces, that perhaps wants to start something new. It could even be a new, completely new approach to your finances, a completely new avenue of possible income, a completely new career, hobby, you know, you name it. Someone would like to, they could be the same person, would like to become a underwear or a lingerie designer. That could go very well as well. Could even be the same person that we talked about with the dresses. So if that's you, <laughs> it's looking good. It's like there is a desire for new things, but also a energy of holding yourself accountable and responsible for continuing what you have already done. What you have already started. There's going to be a lot of financial freedom here for you. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. If you're worrying about money, you really don't have to. Okay? You really don't have to. And I get a sense that the reason why some of you are worrying about money is because you're not in this energy that is so comfortable to you. Obsession. You know, doing absolutely everything in your power to get to where you want to be. Thinking about something 24-7 existing solely to get that goal and it seems like you're shaking this energy off this approach off and some of you may feel completely like a fish out of water and that does not mean that you're not manifesting that does not mean that you're not progressing it just means that you're out of an energy that you've gotten comfortable in and that makes you feel <laughs> all over the place but money is definitely not going to be a problem here for you pisces okay the Nine of Pentacles, this is you having all of the resources that you could possibly want. Having everything that you need for a luxurious, beautiful life. Financial freedom. This is you feeling very comfortable within your own skin. Not needing anybody. Okay? Very independent. So if you have people in your life, if you choose to have a partner, friends, family, it's because you love them. Not because you need them. 
And that's a very liberating energy for a relationship to kind of blossom in. Now let's get some oracles. Higher power. Okay, so this is resonating here with the Wheel of Fortune. Higher power. There is definitely a higher power <laughs> that is, I think, wanting for you, wanting to bring this thing to your attention, wanting to let you know that that obsessive energy is not the only way to get what you want. Round and round. You may feel like you're going through experiences that you have already gone through. You may feel like you have somehow recently started repeating a cycle that you thought was already over. But it's just similar in structure but different in the lesson that wants to come in. Time for a nap. Never hurts. Pisces never hurts. Pisces sometimes feels really tired just by being so sensitive. You know, being so sensitive means seeing and hearing and feeling and receiving so much more psychic information than the average person. And some Pisces process it consciously, which must be so heavy. And others uh, process it kind of like unconsciously, but still, it's just receiving so much information. And that could, I think, it's my theory, <laughs> make us feel quite sleepy and tired often. Maybe more than the average person as well. Pisces need to protect their energy. You know, in general. Everybody does. Everybody benefits from that. But I think since we're so sensitive, you know, I have created a course for you guys about that. So you can check that out if you feel like you have no idea how to protect your energy. It's it's always a good bunch of, it's a good um like bundle of information that I think we should all have handy. <laughs> yeah, because so I'm gonna leave it under the video in the description box. But yeah, with the time to take a nap card here, it's like. Finding a new way to manifest that does not require so much energy. More of an aligning yourself with the right frequencies and then just allowing things to flow in as opposed to going against the current to get something. Because it's like maybe you have for so many years gotten used to going against the current and getting what you want and you do. You do. It takes a lot of effort. But maybe by, by now you're kind of used to it. And I think that now, now the universe is trying to tell you, hey, what if you don't go against the current? What if you allow yourself to flow down the stream? And you're like, wait, but what, what is going to happen? I don't know. If, what if that takes me further away from my goal? And that may be a process that is showing up here. For some of you, this could have something to do with money. You may be feeling afraid. You may be feeling out of sorts. You may be feeling like what you're used to doing, you can't do it this time or you don't want to or something. And it's like just, you know, you could be a little, feeling a little off base. Take it if it resonates, Pisces. But you don't have anything to worry about in regards to money, okay? All the money that you're going to need is going to be there and then some. So yes, my love, so this is what I have for you. If you're feeling particularly stressed out about money, if you feel like you're always stressed out about money no matter what, the Abundance Blueprint course is going to be under this video in the description box. It's basically a compilation of everything that I have learned along the years to pretty much help you heal your relationship with money once and for all. And through energy work, remove all of the blockages that keep you small in that area of your life, okay? That course is specifically about financial abundance, okay? And I'm also gonna leave below the energy protection course. If you feel like you're one of the Pisces who are really, really sensitive and sometimes that back backfires, 
maybe you feel like you hang out with a person and you just get completely drained and don't know don't know don't know how to prevent it or if you somehow feel like shit for no reason often and you don't know what it is you know all of those things could mean that your energy could be affected it's not always the case but learning those things i think is the most important thing like before any of the online online courses that i offer i think the energy protection one should be number one like for everybody because <laughs> it's just essential you know so yeah i'm gonna leave all the relevant info below thank you guys thank you for all of you who um donate to the channel support the channel all of your comments, likes, subscribes are deeply appreciated. I will see you in the next read. Bye my loves.